Gareth, the start of 2016 and some good news for Gloucestershire fans. Tell us uh, what the news is. Yeah, I've just um, finished um, sorting out my new contract and uh, signing an extension to keep me here for three more, three more seasons. So uh, to the end of 2018, I think it is. So yes, um, nice to get that wrapped up and uh, you know have a future secured um, playing alongside the boys. And uh, well, what is it about the club? What is it about the squad that's made you uh, decide to sign for three more years? Well, to be honest, it's it's uh, it was quite an easy decision. Uh, the stage I'm in in my career, the the lads we have in the change room, and the success we had last year in one day cricket. So, um, you know, when I sat down and kind of thought, uh, you know, what I wanted and. Uh, you know uh, what I wanted looking forward, and it was it was quite easy in the end to be to be fair, and uh, yeah, delighted to uh, to be part of this change room for another three seasons. As you mentioned, uh, fantastic success in the One Day Cup last year, winning at Lords. What do you think this side or the squad can achieve over the next three years of your contract? Yeah, to be fair, I think we want to be, you know, pushing and uh, be in contention for all three competitions. You know, I think now we're getting to a stage where the younger lads in the squad, you know, myself included, have started to play, you know, enough cricket to kind of know their games and, um, you know, to develop, you know, at, at a faster rate and, and, and make uh, greater strides forward. So um, for me, that's, I think, what we want to do. We, we want to be pushing for motion, we want to be getting to T20 final day, we want to be getting to the knockout stages of the One Day Cup. Um, you know, whether that's attainable all in, all in one year, you know, maybe not, but... Um, um, you know, certainly um, that's the aim for the lads going forward, and I think everyone has the same ambition and drive to to achieve that. And reflecting on the time you've been here so far, how do you feel your own game has developed over that time, and how do you see your role in the team going forward? Yeah, to be honest, that was another another factor in you know why you know why I committed. You know, I've been given quite a bit of responsibility in the top of the order, and to to be the only gloveman on staff in the minute. Um, you know, it's a responsibility that I quite enjoy. Um, you know, a little bit of added pressure, which is you know which is nice. Um, so yeah, if, you know, if I can kind of put my hand up in, in tough situations and being at the top of the order, uh, doing something that not a lot of people on, on the circuit do, so um, you know that's a challenge I'm looking forward to and a challenge that I, you know, I, t I take on, you know, wholeheartedly and um, with great enthusiasm. And the squad, certainly when you joined, was a particularly young squad, and you've seen the guys develop over the three years, as you have yourself. Is that uh, ability for the club to develop players and help them improve and, and fulfil their potential a reason for you staying here? Yeah, you know, obviously, you know, they got this. You know, most of the lads will say we're a raw ball of clay when we when we joined as pros. Um, you know, the guys going through the academy, they would have seen progress through there. And I know that, um, especially in regards to my keeping and batting, uh, you know, um, I feel like, uh, you know. The growth that I've had here has, has, has been significant. So um, certainly, you know, I've got a rapport with the coaches. They're going really well with the guys that are here, and I think they can help my game. So, you know, that was, of course, a factor in in, uh, in, in me staying as well. And from a personal point of view, what ambitions do you have for yourself over the next three years? Well, to me, I think at the end of. Uh, the end of three years, I'll have done my seven years qualification. So um, it, all for me now is, is three years of just you know hard work and um, you know it's, it's pretty simple when it comes to keeping and batting. You know runs and catches and chances taken and chances missed. They kind of um, they kind of you know pave the way forward to how your career is going to go. So um, you know everyone has ambitions to play at the highest level, be that Division One or Lions Tour or um, international cricket. You know if you don't have that ambition, uh, you know I don't think you would be playing professional cricket. So. Um, that for me is, is something that I've got in the pipeline, but at the minute it's just uh, after a, an up and down season for myself last year, um, it's about you know, consolidating this year and you know, having a good year, hopefully across all three formats. And with uh, developments here at the ground, obviously we've seen the new stands and the new pavilion over the last few years, floodlights going in in time for the start of this season, um, international cricket being played here. Um, to what extent does that influence you and, and just help you make you feel you're in the right place? Yeah, you know, of course it does. You know, when you you know, when you join the staff here and um, you see the things that are going on behind the scenes, I mean, the only kind of conclusion you have is this is a club moving forward and it's moving in the right direction. So, um, you know, it's awesome. I've been part of the journey for, you know, three years now uh, and to be part for another three years, um, you know, I have no idea where the club's going to be, but it's exciting, um, you know, to see how it was three years ago and where it could possibly be in another three years. And finally, I know you're now in a stage where you're looking ahead to the coming season, ahead to the next three years, in your case with the new contract, but to what extent does that day at Lords sort of stay in, in your mind, in the memory bank, and, and not only the, obviously the, the win and, and the way you guys played, but also the noise from the fans, the fact that the fans were, were sort of there and supporting us and drowning out Surrey at those times. Was that another factor in, in your decision? Well, yes, it's, you know, days like that don't come around you know, too often in a career career, and I think when you've had one of those days, you know, you strive to have them again. Um, you know, so never having won a trophy as the majority of our um, 
I think the whole of our squad hadn't done or won any sort of trophy really. Um, you never quite know what your hunger is to win a trophy until you've won one. Um, and then you win one and you realise what a thing it is um, and to replicate it how tough it is going to be. So, you know, I'd say the hunger is probably there more now that we've done it and we know what that feeling is and we want to get that feeling back. Um, and that's just not for one day cricket, it's for 2020 and for, you know, for four days as well. So, you know, the, the, like I said, the, I think the hunger in the boys is probably tenfold than it was now because we, we want to get that feeling again.